I'm Sid Blanchard, Executive Director of Community Access Unlimited. And I want to welcome everybody here this morning for this terrific kickoff event of the Union County Nonprofit Consortium Leadership Fellow Program. <coughs> and CAU Community Access is very, very pleased to be able to host the uh, series here at Community Access. And I want to uh, welcome all of the participants, the future leaders of Union County, all my colleagues, executive directors of Union County Nonprofits, and also especially um, members of the Union County Board of Chosen Freeholders, uh, Chairman Bruce Bergen, uh, Betty Jane Kowalski, Renault Wright, welcome. Welcome and thank you for your support. With that, I would like to uh, introduce um, and welcome Bruce Bergen, Union County Freeholder Chairman. Welcome. Thank you, Sid, and good morning, everybody. It's always nice to see so many familiar faces, but it's even nicer to see so many new faces here this morning. It's truly a pleasure to join with you today in launch, launching the Union County Leadership Fellows Institute. First, I want to acknowledge and thank Union County Director of Human Services, Karen Dinsmore. And of course, Sid Blanchard, thank you for your hard work and for hosting us as well. And I just want to recognize Kathy Clayton, who is here from the Spire Group, who is a prime sponsor of this event. I also want to thank all the, uh, the members who have worked so hard on the new nonprofit consortium for partnering with our Department of Human Services to put this program together and really get it going. Thank you to all of them. Freeholder colleagues are here today, uh, Freeholder Kowalski and Freeholder Wright. We also have with us our uh, County Manager, Al Fiella, I lost him, and Deputy County Manager, Amy Wagner. The Leadership Fellows Institute is one of our initiatives in 2017 at the county. We have high hopes that its impact will ripple out to benefit the Union County community for many years to come. This Freeholder Board has long proven its will willingness and ability to take on tough problems with innovative solutions, and workforce development is one of them. In that context, it is difficult to overstate how important it is to ensure that our nonprofits continue to benefit from informed, effective, and seasoned leadership. As we are all very much aware, government cannot do it alone. Nonprofits are one of the bedrock foundations of the Union County community, especially so for those that provide the essential services that help sustain our social safety net. As some of you may know, I began my legal, legal career employed by Yumi County Legal Services and then served many years as their board president. I remain a member of the board of the successor program, Central Jersey Legal Services, and so I truly understand how important Union County's nonprofits <coughs> are to the health of our community. Beyond the invaluable contributions that our nonprofits make, to our communal well-being, they also provide unique, high-quality employment opportunities and volunteer experiences that enrich life throughout Union County. The future, future of our community is deeply embedded in the health of our nonprofits. And so, building on years of experience in workforce and career development in Union County, the Leadership Fellows Institute represents the first focused investment that county government has made to support skills and training for the next generation of non-profit executive leaders. Although it is commonplace to define the non-profit 
and private sectors by their differences. With this program, we hope to bring the best of both together, the passion for social justice and human empathy, and the confidence, know-how, and management skills that enable an organization to grow and thrive. That is why I'm especially proud to note that the Union County Nonprofit Consortium Leadership Institute is a public-private partnership and is made possible by a commitment of $5,000 in seed money from, count, from county government, but by many contributions from <coughs> nonprofit Senate candidates and the generosity of private sector sponsors, as we mentioned. This program is an outstanding example of great work that can be done when we come together and combine resources in a common cause. We have set an ambitious agenda for our first year with 25 recruits, which is, uh, by the way, one more than our target of 24, so we're already at it again. And a full slate of skill building sessions based on a dynamic, interactive model. While our participants learn from the curriculum, we also anticipate that they will draw equally important lessons from sharing real life experiences with one another and creating a strong new network that will continue to grow long after these sessions have concluded. With that, I wish all of the participants all the best for a rewarding experience, and again, thank the Nonprofit Consortium and all of our supporters for helping to bring the Union County Nonprofit Consortium Leadership Institute to life. Have a wonderful day and a great program as we move forward. Thank you.
my name is Keith Timko. I'm the Executive Director with the Support Center, and in the next five minutes or so, um, I'm hopefully going to give a, a sense of why the participants in the program should be excited, and for those who aren't part of the program, to sort of uh, to fuel that fear of missing out. <laughs> As to, um, well, let me just start. I, it, it is truly remarkable, this, this collaborative in Union County, the public-private partnership, um, and then the commitment to so this group that we just met every other, or the second Tuesday of the month, you can find them breaking bread together, talking, being open, being honest, being vulnerable, talking about those issues. And, and I think if there's anything that, that we want to do like through this leadership transition is to preserve values like that, to preserve that, because I think that's something that this leadership program, that, that we're, that's one of our hopes for this, is that for all of you as you come together, and I'll talk a little bit about what that will look like, but we envision this as a, as a supportive network, and we think that's a huge part of what will position you for leadership opportunities in the future, but also that leadership can be a lonely road. And when you have that kitchen cabinet, when you have those people around you with whom you can share, be vulnerable, ask questions, benchmark with one another, like that's, a, that's a beautiful thing, and that's, I, I think, one of our major hopes for, for this program today. Um, and then also, I think the partners here, um, and so I'm here standing here because of with the support center, but I'm also a board member of the Center for Nonprofits. And I have Debbie Duncan with me, a colleague, friend with the Center for Nonprofits. And, and you also have afforded the support center and the Center for Nonprofits this opportunity to work together and to think about this program where you have the statewide Center for Nonprofits and then the support center and how can we use our collective knowledge, wisdom, resources, connections in order to bring those pieces together. And then we also have Jeff Key, who is key to this initiative. <laughs> because what we looked for is like, how could we find a facilitator who brought passion, who brought a commitment to making the world a better place, but also brought some of those elements of a community organizer? Like, how do you foster those interconnections? How do you enable people to engage in that in that open dialogue? And so Jeff is a is a really remarkable part of this program. We're excited to have. <laughs> Um, and excited to work with you over the next 12 months to build this cohesive group of future leaders together. So for those who don't know the content, so this, we're going to strike a balance in this program between content, which is important because we know leaders are hired and move on based on technical knowledge and expertise. But then there are other pieces as well, which is I, I think some of the leadership characteristics that we're talking about is that ability to be vulnerable, to be able to say, I might not know something and that's okay, that doesn't mean that I'm not qualified, it means that I'm okay with what I don't know, I'm willing to ask others. So here are some of the things that we're going to talk about. So things like HR, how do we manage organizations in a changing uh, landscape, where the nature of work and people working remotely, technology, work-life balance. So those are things we're going to talk about. Funding, how do we make do with the funding that we have? How do we do more with less? Or how do we advocate? And I'm excited because Debbie's going to kick us off today talking about the New Jersey nonprofit environment, but I think increasingly we all have to become advocates. We can't say, like, hey, Center for Nonprofits, good luck advocating on our behalf. Um, but what is that now going to look like? Um, fundraising, which is something that we know that's important. How do we communicate our message? How do we engage donors? How do we sort of talk about what are the results that we're getting? Culture, what type of organizational culture do we want? How do we change culture? How do we address that? What are the values that we want to have? Um, finance, we're going to talk about it, because I think any leader needs to understand the numbers and what they mean, but then there's the balancing act between our mission and then the, the money and the financial support that, that underwrites that. Um, and then operations and technology is something that we want to focus on, because the, it is, there are new tools, new technologies, new ways of working. So those are some of the highlights that we're going to talk about over the next 12 months. And we're going to start today, Debbie's going to talk about you know, the 1.6 million nonprofits in the country, the 30,000 in New Jersey, the, I don't know the number of the county. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I, I think that if I was going to say any one thing, it's just this idea that we can't do this work alone. And, and you all recognizing that and recognizing that an investment in people, and it's not just the, the money, the program. I think what's even more valuable is the time that's been afforded to you all to hopefully have these conversations, to not be multitasking and juggling a million things, but to be present here and present with one another. And then we're gonna use other things like Basecamp, and, and we haven't figured this out yet, to be honest, through these leadership development programs, is how to truly create, and 
And so, and maybe it is that you all start to have breakfast every other Tuesday. I think that's a, a wonderful model and a replicable model. But I would encourage you all to figure out what are the rituals, like what are the mechanisms by which you build these bonds during these next 12 months together, but then to see those go on, to see yourselves as sort of an alumni, and that is like the holy grail for leadership development programs, is that you build these bonds together, you get excited, familiar with one another, the ebbs and flows of your family's rhythms, and then you stop meeting monthly, and then you lose touch. So just think about it, not in a kind of an artificial way, but we know that you all are joined here together because of this deep passion for making the world a better place. That you share similar values and celebrate that as you sort of think about how can we continue to support one another after the program. Um, and then along the way, let Debbie, let Jeff, let me, like our respective organizations know what more we can do for that. Because we believe deeply in the work that you do, believe deeply in your opportunities to work together, and wish you great luck with this program, not luck, but wish you um, a rewarding experience. We're excited about it, and uh, I'm not sure where we segue to a, to a formal program, um, but, uh, but we're really delighted to be a partner to this partnership, and look forward to the next 12 months together. As the freeholder chairman would say, at a point like this, seeing no one. Um, so I will just segue you in. Those of us that are here for this introduction and this kickoff and launch today are able to go back and do the jobs that we're paid to do. But the other reason we're leaving you is so that you can build that cohesive group, that class, that uh, Keith talked about, the participants that are here, some of whom I met um, when we were out in the breakfast area. I'm very excited for you. This was not an opportunity that existed for some of the executive directors that, um, that sit here and stood here today. Um, as someone who many years ago went to a leadership development uh, program and I was held up in the hills of Colorado and couldn't breathe, I was in such high altitude. But I came back with, um, with that alumni feeling. I met people from all over the country. I actually found out where Oklahoma was and made some friends from there. Um, and I was able to take the time by leaving Union County, and the county uh, uh, permitted me to go out to Winter Park, Colorado, to take that time to really think about what, is, what it was that I wanted to accomplish, what it is that we need here in Union County, and as a result, that was 1994, and I'm still here in 2017, and I've learned a lot since. So I really wish that for all of you. Those of us that are here that are in the Union County Nonprofit Consortium will be stopping by over the course of the next 11 months to make sure that your experience is a good one. We won't interfere with your discussions, but we want you to understand that you have our support. And we're going to use this inaugural year to learn and to see how we can make it better for future leaders after you. So I really encourage you to make the most of this experience, to let us know if you have feedback along the way, and then we'll be talking about talking to you next year as we get towards the end of the program. So thank you so much for being our first class to kick off this uh, Leadership Development Institute.